Hi guys, I'm Dennis Wilson Woods. I am the owner and inventor of the 123 Tennis T. Uh, you probably just got done seeing a couple little shots of little Annabelle, three years old. She's from the East Coast. Her father is a tennis editor for AtlanticTennis.com, I believe we call it, and he gave us a full one-page review a few years ago, and I didn't go asking for the video. They did it, and sent it to me and they put it on YouTube too with the editorial uh, he does gave us some very good um, comments the last line is this product is worth its weight in gold for its youth alone it's got many other things in there it says that his daughter likes to hit the tennis ball more now that's that's a three-year-old now I can even jump to a, another testimonial that was sent to me Without me chasing or finding the guy, it would be a Tom Wright on the East West Coast from California. Tom's a 5.0 tennis tournament player, uh, high school tennis coach. Shows him hitting in the backyard at his home because he did, doesn't have the time to get out and go to the tennis courts every night. And he gets to hit a bucket of balls, we'll call it, in his backyard without going and chasing balls. He just hits it into his chain link fence, I believe. Uh, check that out too. Don't don't take my word for it. Take some customers' words for it. I've got into this uh, quest to build this thing because over 10 years ago, uh, my old firstborn grandson, I was trying to teach him how to ten hit tennis balls, and tossing the ball just <laughs> doesn't work. It still doesn't work very quick today. These other goofy things I'll call it goofy and it's not that's being nice there's some silly stuff out there that you'll pay a couple hundred dollars for that don't get you any any point of reference to how well you're hitting the ball at all this is what you need it's the same concept as what the baseball batting tee has done for the past hundred years and continues to do baseball batting tees are used by little leaguers first, but then as we still get older, even the college and the major leaguers, those batting tees are going up. I've got a $100 batting tee laying out here right now. It's pretty much shot because I had 10 years of little league coaching with it for my son's teams. Um, that was probably my famous name to consider myself as a anything famed name. We were uh, state undefeated and fourth in the nation for 10-year-old baseball players. That was my son's team and his partners on that team. I coached that little league team. I know how to teach hitting. That's the baseball. Now, tennis, I didn't know, so I've learned, and I've learned how to help teach. This is the best, best way to get instant results in your own backyard. You do not even need a tennis court or concrete to start hitting balls. You can start here and bring it all the way down well over 35 inches. You can get a 35 inch range of where you want to put your stroke. If you've got a tough hitting high top spin backhand, getting over the top backhand, that's like uh, some number one players in the world have had trouble with. One hander getting up high, that's the way to go. Um, I have a tough time too, it hurts my wrist. So I, I, I definitely like to let the ball come down lower for me. You do not feel or see, feel that ball going through it. It's like hitting a ball floating on air, only you get to hit three balls left, three balls right. You can hit six balls with two tees. That's what's so nice. You can spin this around also, then you're hitting four hands. One team does it all, but with two you can hit six balls before reloading. It comes with 30 self-adhesive little dots that you put on your tennis ball, let it set 24 to 48 hours, or they'll start to peel off on you. I've got some that are probably three years old. The balls are wasted from being hit, but the Velcro dot stayed on. It's just you got to let that stuff set. For little kids, you do not need all that dot. I, you know, right now today it's windy, so I actually have it. A little bit more velcro attached I can just barely touch this thing like that especially for little kids that aren't swinging through a hundred miles an hour like us adults do but that's the greatest thing that teaches these kids you got to go through the ball you hit through the ball and follow through so many people when the ball's moving to them they stop on contact that's what we call hackers uh, that's what's so great I've always been about the baseball batting tee it teaches them to break through that point I call it the hinge, 
This is the area that the hinge and breaks through, causes the power and contact to be made. Here's the one, two, three. That's it. Easy as one, two, three. Thank you very much.